trout. It's a big trout. It's a big trout, boys. Oh my goodness! Don't come off, for God's sake, don't come off. guys and welcome to Piscator UK. Now guys you join us back on Loch Awe, uh, and you join me today with good friend and fishing buddy Phil from another angle UK. Hi guys. Uh, this is actually our second attempt here on Loch Awe, and the target species is ferox trout. Uh, for those of you that don't know what ferox trout are, uh, they're basically big brown trout, uh, they've gone a bit rogue and they can be double figures 20 pound plus some of them so that's the target species anyway last the last trip we had it was a bit lumpier big breeze blown down the loch uh, there is a bit of breeze today but not as bad as the last time anyway after that last trip i did a few questions on facebook and i got a lot of positive feedback um, one in particular from a guy called mark dalgleish who's been very helpful and given us a few pointers about fishing depths, uh, how far we should have our lures at the back of the boat and weights and all that sort of thing. So yeah, some really good feedback from uh, a lot of you guys, so much appreciated for that. And hopefully we're going to put some of that newfound knowledge into practice. That's the plan. That's the plan. Uh, we've actually been trawling for about an hour and I will go through how I've set or how we've set up the, the downriggers and the two other rods and we'll go through some tackle talk as well as the day progresses but yeah looking forward to this and good to be back out with Phil on his little boat uh, real time lovely little boat it's just always good to be out fishing isn't it yeah, it's good to be out Phil's not long back from a, a little fishing holiday down in Cornwall and he's had a few videos out so check them out guys uh, I'll put a link of his channel in the description and you can Feel free to go and check his channel out whenever you want. Uh, but yeah, you had a good holiday in Cornwall. Yeah, we had some good fish caught. You have to check it out. It's well worth it. I can re thoroughly recommend it to anybody. So yeah, fingers crossed guys and uh, hopefully we can get some action today. If not, it'll be another nice day on the boat. Guys, I thought I'd just take a minute to explain how the, we've got the rod set up in amongst all the pandemonium and excitement that we've been having over the last couple of hours. <laughs> but that's trawling for you. Anyway, so starting on the port side, downrigger, that's set at uh, approximately 30 feet with first rod. Uh, this one's got a dead bait on it and a, a rhino bait head on. I'll show you I'll show you the actual rigging up of the bait head when I get it back in. And the outside rod, uh, 10 foot steelhead iconic with the Abu Garcia line counter reel on. And that's probably about 175 feet behind the boat. And that's got a lovely uh, two piece Rapala lure on. Again, I'll show you all the lures that we've been using through the day. And on the starboard side, 
on Phil's side of the boat. Again, we've got the downrigger, and that's down to 20 feet in depth. And Phil's got the Abu Garcia line counter on that one. And he's got a, a lovely soft plastic trout coloured um, swim bait on that. And on Phil's outside rod, uh, again, that's roughly maybe about 150 feet behind the boat. Uh, he's got a, another Rapala lure on that, and it's a rainbow trout coloured Rapala lure. And as I said, guys, I'll show you the lures uh, as we go through the video and what we're using and how we're setting them up. Don't come off. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Beautiful colour. Beautiful colour. Come in, come in. Come in. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> right, I'll keep that in the net, yeah? If we can fill this tank, you wait till you see what's in this net. Oh my goodness. We're just keeping it in the water here in the net. We're putting water in a big bucket here in a trough just to take care of the fish. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at this beast. What a beautiful fish. Phil's first ever Ferox, and I think that's your biggest brown trout ever. It is, yeah. Brilliant. I'm absolutely made up. Yeah, so am I. guys, bit of an update. Uh, we're back on our way down the loch now uh, with the wind and Phil here's had a lovely uh, ferox trout. Uh, what, what is it? 7... 7.2 did we say? Yeah about 7.2, 7.3. 
uh, lovely fish, stunning fish, lovely colour and that was on the Abu Garcia uh, swim bait plastic made our day so far and yeah and that was on the downrigger on Phil's side with uh, fishing it 20 feet deep with approximately 40 feet of line behind us and yeah just I saw the rod bounce we were just talking about how long we'd been trawling overall between last trip and this trip which was probably about 20, about 20 hours 20 hours of trawling overall and then I saw rods I saw Phil's rod bounce and fish was on so yeah a bit of pandemonium as much as we had planned what we were going to do uh, and catching the fish but it worked out well in the end but yeah absolutely stunning fish and it's been yeah it's just been great to be out so far and a few hours left to go and who knows maybe there's some more to catch today yeah so that was a uh, the rod that got the fish so the downrigger on this side as I said 20 feet deep 40 feet of line behind us where the uh, Abu Garcia line counter and yeah that rod just bounced in the air and the fish was on that's actually the Akuma rod the yeah, Akuma rod yeah started off at 8 foot but it's now 7.6 because the tip got broken off <laughs> but it's yeah. still doing the business shortened rod uh, but yeah it certainly gave a good account of itself on the rod and on my side I'm still trawling with I'm at 30 feet deep 40 feet of line behind and I've got the dead bait on that downrigger and the other rod is still out about 175 feet behind us with the Rapala uh, two piece lure on so yeah fingers crossed guys hopefully there's more action to come stay tuned alright guys I thought I'd just take you through some of the rigs that we're using today uh, and the lures, so the, Rapa the Rapala lures using today uh, lovely jointed lure, lovely swimming action in a, a trout style, trout colours uh, rainbow trout Rapala and the last one that we've tried is a little bit smaller just to see if we can pick up maybe a smaller brown trout another little trout style lure again lovely colours, lovely action and what I thought I'd go through with you is we've been using bait head holders and this one's from Rhino and little bait holders uh, and they'll fit a bait probably 12 to 18 centimetres max and on their own they just give a nice sort of left to right swimming action and with everything that we've used today we've got some wire trace on everything just because there is pike in Lochaw and you know, just for fish welfare, uh, we don't want getting broke off and leaving hooks in the fish's mouth, so everything they use is wire trace. But what I thought I'd try with the, the rhino bait holders, and it's what I've seen on other uh, bait holders that they're quite hard to get a hold of, is I put a little lip on this, and this little lip is cheap as chips, it's from a plastic bottle, and I just put that on with some epoxy resin, shaped it and what I thought I'd hope, well what I was hoping it was going to achieve is more of a, a wiggling action so get a bit of vibration in the head which would follow through to the tail and more of a wiggle rather than a, a left to right action. It's not worked as well as, well as I thought it would have in terms of the action. It, it is sort of moving left to right but it's more spinning rather than just moving left to right but what I think maybe needs to happen with that is just make that little cone shaped head uh, from the plastic bottle maybe a bit wider so it gives more resistance against the water but we'll give this another try another thing that I've uh, made and what's been on the back of these is these are little uh, anti-kink devices and if you're using something that spins in the water it just stops any line twist going up your line and obviously ending up in a knot or something like that uh, and I found with these these are really cheap but they're really brittle and they don't last and plus the little vein is really small you know it's probably the size of maybe half a 50 pence piece so what I came up with is making something a bit more robust and bigger uh, again with a wire running through it swivels on either side 
and this is obviously going to go through the water like so it's made of plexiglass uh, so it is quite it doesn't shatter uh, you can drill into it and it's been brilliant and this is the one we're using on the downriggers so just a plain uh, anti-kink device and what I've been using on the the outside rods to change depth is I've done the same again with the plexiglass anti-kink device but I've put weights onto them and I've put the weight on at a little angle this one's probably about a 30 degree angle so it's going to act like a little paravane and take that down and keep it down uh, through the trawling motion of the boat so this is probably just over an ounce in weight and I've got another one for running shallower same again, same idea but this has got probably just over half an ounce on this one and I'll, again it's got an angle of about 30 degrees acting like a little paravane which is going to keep that down in the water and plus you've got the anti-kink device to stop the line twist running up the line so that's the little mods I've done and these have been working really good today so I'll probably make more of these for the future so yeah that's it, that's the gear uh, I've been using today so hopefully these little mods you may be thinking about doing yourself or if you've got any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and I'm sure to get back to you so guys nearly at the end of the day uh, we're on the last part of our trawl now but it's been an awesome day as always with good friend Phil here and obviously Phil's got his first Ferox uh, ever uh, PB uh, game fish and that's just been a pleasure being part of that today and uh, yeah it's just wonderful to see and what a stunning fish as well well there's no way I could have caught it without Douglas because honestly you don't realise how much there is to do in terms of pulling in the other three rods and preparing for the fish and one thing or another netting it so uh, yeah I couldn't have done it on my own <laughs> <laughs> and like I said it's just been it's been wonderful just being part of it today and you know it's another day that we've We've, we've learnt a lot and certainly some of the advice that we got from other anglers has certainly paid off today so again a big thank you to everyone that's you know put something into this trip uh, whether it be advice or you know just comments obviously on Phil's last video that he did when we were here uh, and it's really helped us massively uh, obviously I've done a little bit a few little mods here and there for some kit but it's all been because of advice and I think that's a really important part of what's happened today and you know Phil's achieved what he what we came here to achieve and there'll just be another day for me to get that fish we're coming back out tomorrow yeah we're, we're coming but we we're going to keep it secret but we're going to, we're coming back out tomorrow so uh, yeah stay tuned guys and uh, yeah we'll see you tomorrow for another day on the ferox hunt that's it Okay, so bye from me. Yeah, so thanks very much for watching guys, and I'll see you next time on Piscator UK. Fish on guys. On the Abra Garcia swim bait. I jumped out of the water, there's a ferox.